class in today's call class we will discuss some more examples different types of examples to find the uh, congruence examples right? okay first one if 2 raised to 8 is congruent to a mod 13 then find a if such exam such type of example are asked then you need to find a now so all of you know 2 raised to 8 is what if you directly you don't know the answer 2 raised to 4 raised to 8 is 2 2 raised to 4 is 16 then 8 raised to 8 square uh, is 256 is yes. 256 is congruent to a mod 13 what do you mean by this 2 raised to 256 congruent to a mod 13 means what when 13 divides 256 whatever remainder will be left that is your a now yes divide this by 13 what will you get 12 so 6 9 sir. it will be 117 so remainder will be 9 therefore how will you express this 256 is congruent to 9 mod 13 means what what is a now this implies a is equal to 9 yes okay next example solve seven x solve seventy one congruent to x mod eight or else this may be asked as find the least positive value of x least positive value of x means what for which value of smallest value of x this congruence will be satisfied that is the meaning understood you need to find the value of least value of x again what it means 71 congruent to x mod 18 is mod 8 is given x is what x represents the remainder when 71 is divided by 8 so when 8 divides 71 what it is remainder is 7 therefore x is equal to 7 next one Seventy eight plus x is congruent to three mod five is fourth example also I will write eighty nine is congruent to x plus three mod four based on these two examples. Yes. So now in third example. You need to find what is x value. So 78 plus x. This is a reminder. S minus 3 is equal to. We will express it as 5n. Where n is any integer. Yes. Now 78 plus x minus 3. 78 minus 3 is 75. 75 plus x equal to 5n. Yes. So now we need to check for which value of x uh, when you put any value of x so that it will be divided by 5. Yes. When you put x as 1, it is 76, not divisible by 5. When you put 2, just you have to check it by inspection. Yes. 2, it is 77. Yes. So when you put 5, it will be 80. Yes. So, 75 plus 5 is equal to 80. Yes. It is multiple of 
y multiple of y so proxy called y yes therefore what is the least value least value of x which satisfy this equation is 80 so when you divide this by 5 what happens it is a divisible by 80 so the least value x is 5 so when you substitute you, you can check this whether it is the least value or not by substituting here yes when you substitute x as 5 here what it becomes 78 plus 5 83 so when 83 is divided by 5 3 is your remainder yes this is the least value of x now here 89 is congruent to x plus 3 mod 4 89 x plus 3 bring this to lhs it becomes minus is equal to multiple of 4 that is what 4 n 89 minus 3 is what it is 86 minus x equal to 4 n now we will check by inspection method for which value it will be divisible by 4 so when you put x as 1 it will be 85 as yes, 85 is not divisible by 4 so when you put 2 it will be 84 84 is divisible by 4 so let x as 2 so when you put x as 2 86 minus 2 is 84 as yes, it is multiple of 4 here and here n represent what it is a multiple of 4 and 5 what value you are going to substitute as yes? therefore it is the least value minimum value is 2 only you can go on substituting the numbers but least value is 2 only therefore least value of x which satisfy this congruence is next is Ninety six is congruent to x by seven mod five. So, how will you are going to write this? Follow the same procedure, take the remainder to LHS that is ninety six minus x by seven is multiple of five is five when. So, take the LCM. So it is 762 minus x is equal to 35 n. Now check what is the least value of x so that it is divisible by 35. Yes. Go on substituting 1, 2, 3 and check it. So when you substitute x as 7 here, 672 minus 7, you will get 665. Yes, which is a multiple of 35. So you can check for 1 to 6. If you want, you can cross verify this. Therefore, the least value is of x is 7. Whenever you ask to find the least value of x, you can perform like this. One more example, we we'll see. If 2x is congruent to 3 mod 7, 
find x such that x lies between 9 and 30. Yes. So this is your question. You need to find x only, but uh, that x must be between 9 and 30. For which values x is between 9 and 30, they asked you to find. Yes. Now, what is given? 2x is congruent to 3 mod 7. So now, by inspection only you can say, when you put x as 5, 5 into 2 is 10. When 10 is divided by 7, the remainder will be 3 only because 7 in 7 ones are 7, 10 minus 7 is 3. So, what will be its solution? x equal to 5 satisfies the congruence. Because when, when you put x as 5, 10 is congruent to 3 mod 7. Yes, is good. This holds good. Now, therefore, x is congruent to 5 mod 7. Solution. Yes. So x is congruent to 5 mod 7 is the solution. Now the solution set they asked you to find x such that that lies between 9 and 30. Yes. Go on substituting the values. When you put Now to find the x value between 9 and 30, the solution set, this is your least value, yes, x is your least value, we satisfy this, but they asked you to find, find x such that which lies between 9 and 30. So we need to write the solution set, the solution set, solution set is what, the set of x, we satisfy this equation. So whenever you use the number and it is divided by 7, the remainder must be 3, like that. So, then the solution set is, it is 5, yes, we, all, we already know, when you put 5, remainder is 3. Next, when you put 12, it is a 24, divided by 7, it is a 21, 24 minus 21, remainder is 3, yes. Next is 19, next is 26. 33 and so on. Incongruence, as I said, you can write incongruence relation, you can write the equivalence. Yes, when you put minus 2, it is minus 4 is congruent to 3 mod 7 only. Yes, similarly, minus 9. So it varies like this. So this is what solution set. Among these solutions, which which x lies between 9 to 30. Yes, these are all our solutions of this congruence. Now, among these, which lies between 9 and 30, this is our least, but it is less than 9. Yes. Now, we want x which lies between 9 and 30. These are the three numbers which lies between 9 and 30. Therefore, the required x Lying between 9 and 30 are 12, 19 and 26. Yes, this is how to find solution of given such equations. Yes. So next, we will move on to linear congruence. So what are the rules to find x in a linear congruences.
So in the next class, we will discuss about rules for finding x in linear congruence and we will see this linear congruence, finding x in linear congruence with using some examples. Till then practice these examples, follow my channel, subscribe, take care. Thank you.